Hey guys, we're back out in the Eastern Cascades doing some mushroom hunting. It's towards the end of May. We've already found some spring king bolites in a different area when we went out recently. So check out that video. So I walked over to this area because there's some nice size fur over here. Some of these are dead standing actually. And then more, even larger ones back there. So I spotted a morel over here. Let's see, where was it? Over here. So let's see if we can make this one squawk. Ah, just a little bit. I don't know if you guys heard that. But uh, when they get big like this, especially if it's um, a green morel, which this one isn't, even though it has all of these folds in the bottom, if you were to cut it through, it would eventually just go hollow. So this is just a regular black, I think. Maybe. Maybe it's a green. I'm not quite sure. They look very similar. Um, but, uh, cutting through the flesh makes kind of like a squawking sound <laughs> when they get large enough. If they get large enough. Let's see if there's any other ones. Oh, there's one. And a beetle. So normally I would pull them out, but <clears throat> if you want the squawking, you gotta cut them. <laughs> okay, so let's see, is there any more here? So we're at, uh, you know, about 3,700 feet of elevation here. Maybe at this point in the season, you kind of expect them to be more in the shaded, cooler areas where there's some moisture being preserved. Because the rainy season's pretty much over, but we are supposed to get a few more days of rain here next week. So yeah, maybe a bit early still for this elevation in this aspect, maybe on the southern face and slopes in this area, or maybe more in the open areas. So you just kind of adjust the pattern with the clues you're given. And uh, yeah, check different spots. All right, so I'm at this spot. I've hunted um, morels before. And over here we have something kind of interesting. So over here is uh, just one of those cub jaramitra, but here you can see this track here is a deer or an elk came over and tried to wrench out this mushroom. You can see that that's actually the stem or stipes of a king bully. There's some chew marks there. And so that's what we would call a deer assist, right? Because it tells you that positively there it is Boletus rex severus mycelium here. Uh, those look kind of young, so let's see. Oh my god, I'm almost stepping on it. Oh, it's right here. You guys see that? But um, nice. So there's a pretty nice small one. You can see the very fine reticulation at the top of the stipe. 
So that's that kind of netting pattern. Um, the pore surface starts very tight and white. Kind of a classical feature of the Porcini group. The cap is reddish brown. And then when it's exposed to sunlight for some time and it's older, it goes uh, like a brown tan color. So there's a really nice one that should be good to go. So never cut them when they're still in the ground like this because you'll leave all of this behind. Just carefully trim the waste off with your knife. So like that. So over here is a coral that I'm guessing also an animal is eating. And then here, you can definitely see the stipe of a porcini that also an animal ate. Um, that was right by this one. So we can still look around to see if there's any that they didn't find. They didn't touch this one. Oh, what is that over there? Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's just a rock. <laughs> a bunch of these other cup ascos. Oh, what is that? Oh, there. What are you? Yes, 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 yes. So it looks like a squirrel or a rabbit trying to get at this one. Another animal assist, I guess you could say. Yes, it is perfect. Right by the road here. Again, there's a little aborted one down there. Those are nice. Fairly easy to find too. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.